The 2014 Four Elements Ocean Challenge is an exciting, interesting platform to raise awareness about ocean degradation. Hello, my name is Ayanda Mapamulo. I am 14 years of age. My name is Otto Tanning. Hi, my name is Olivia Taylor. I'm Roger Finch. Hi, I'm Karina Brevert. I'm a musician, part of instrumental pop group Sterling EQ, and an avid open water swimmer. And I go to Durban Girls College. I'm a heart surgeon. I live in Cape Town, and I am in private practice. I have a company doing data cable installations. I am the CEO and founder of Four Elements Conservation, and I'm a pupil at Durban Girls College. This evening is a meet and greet with lots of like-minded people. We will be pairing safety paddlers with their swimmers and have the general safety briefing and going other last minute questions and clarifying all uncertainties. Well, we've got down here today and the conditions are actually looking pretty good. We were worried yesterday because of the wind. We had a strong northeasterly wind, but overnight things have settled. We've just had a spring high tide. The tide's just starting to drain. The swell's not that big. I've just felt the water. It's still warm. It's clean. It looks like a really good day for a swim. This event is not being run as a race, but merely an ocean challenge. It's a great opportunity for swimmers to swim for a cause that they are passionate about. I think there are very few things as beautiful as the ocean. It's an environment which is not really ours, but we have the benefit of watching it, learning from it, and the privilege of swimming in it. The ocean means paradise, luxury, wildlife, you know, having a good experience with everyone, and just having a laugh with, with everyone, that means a lot to you. I love the ocean. It's, it's that one place where I can feel special, where I feel whole. It's a truly tremendous environment and it's alive and there's so many creatures living in it that are really really beautiful there's nothing to be scared of out there the ocean eye is a repurposed surfboard and it's got a piece of perspex fitted into the top and the bottom so that you can see what you're paddling over or surfing over many people are afraid of the unknown and by having this window into the ocean you are able to see what you're paddling over the fear of the unknown is gone and you start to understand the oceans a little bit better I think another key aspect with this board is that looking at environmental issues, you can see deforestation, you can see that a forest has gone missing, but you can't see what's going on under the waves, you can't see what's going on in the ocean. Pollution, the visual part of, of environmental degradation, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This board then allows you to look under the water and see the bulk of the iceberg. Am I afraid of sharks? Sharks. <laughs> sharks are beautiful. I think the, the greatest one is the great white. The first thing people say when, when you tell them that you do open water swimming is what about the sharks, what about the sharks? The feeling I have about sharks is that they are in the water. It's their home. We as humans are not their prime source of food. I'm always wary of them, but um, it's not something that preoccupies me. There's not much that scares me um, about the ocean. The ocean is their place. They are beautiful creatures. They, they they rule the ocean. They are magnificent. Until you see one, you'll never know how stunning they are.
The purpose of today's swim was to try and raise awareness and raise some money for a more ecological uh, solution to shark nets so that we won't have the dolphins and the turtles and the sharks caught in shark nets. I understand that bathers need protection but I think that it's 2014 guys, we've got to do better than these archaic nets that just kill everything. Something that's really great about this day and age is that this unique event can be so widely viewed because of the use of social media. So hopefully that this event will help raise the awareness that we need about the oceans and spread the conservation message. We're very privileged to be on this planet. I think it's a particularly beautiful place, uh, but it's also very fragile. And I've always heard the cliche that we should try and leave a better world for our children. And I think the real challenge for us is that we should leave better children to look after our world. I think that's more important.